Hi and welcome back to my channel. For today's project I started out by making a mask. I just drew a heart on a thick piece of paper and then I've cut it out. Then you can use the heart to position everything on your card where you want it. Now I want two different textures going on in my heart, so I'll be using some crackle paste as I want some cracks, but I also want part of my heart to be smooth, so I'm also taking out the ranger texture paste. I'm going to put both of them through my stencil and I'll even leave some marks from my palette knife visible. While my paste is drying, I'm going to work on the inside of the card, as I want some color and some words in there too. So I'm taking out my watercolors to start with. And while my watercolor is drying, I can go and already stamp the words that I want to use at the front of my card with my heart. And I'm using some words from this Look Forward With Hope set that has all these positive words. And then I'm just using a ruler to create some straight torn edges.
My watercolor has dried, so I can go and stamp on the inside of my card. And I'm going for another set of words from the Look Forward with Hope set. And I'm also combining it with one of those tiny hearts from this Have I Told You set. And I'm coloring in my tiny heart using my starry colors so I get a bright and shining heart. In the meantime, both of my pastes have dried, so I can go and start coloring my heart. Now the first layer, of course, is some watercolor. And to create more depth, I'm taking out my charcoal pencil, my ink tense pencils and even my Faber-Castell pit marker and I just have a play until I'm happy.
All I need now is a little bit of shading around my heart and then I can go and put my card together. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that bell so you get a notification when a new video goes live. If you have any question, just leave me a comment. See you next time!